Hi guys, this is a video on linking Google Mail with Mozilla Thunderbird. Uh, these are the two things that I'm using at the moment for my email. Um, now why am I using Thunderbird? Now Thunderbird's made by Mozilla, which is the same people that made Mozilla Firefox. Um, what does that mean? That means it's skinnable and it's got add-ons and all this extra features, which is great. And uh, Mozilla Firefox is trustworthy and so is Thunderbird. So, um, why am I using Google Mail? Now there's some great features with Google Mail that I like over things like Hotmail and Yahoo Mail. Now the first one is the fact that you get about six gigabytes of space. Now um, when you sign up for Google Mail, I notice that it's got a little counter and that's increasing all the time. So the space we get is increasing all the time. So um, what else? Um, you also get IMAP and POP access to your mailbox. Now that's great because that means that it's compatible with most things. Um, with uh, with Hotmail, you can't really do it through anything. It's through webmail. So with Google Mail, you can access it through local clients. So you don't have to keep going to the web page each time to keep checking your mail. So the IMAP and the POP is great. And I'll explain the difference between the two in a second when I go to set it up. So um, also another great feature I like about this is the create a filter button. Um, now, usually, I don't know, some people might use it for spam or something like that. Um, but I actually use it to apply labels to my emails. And as you can see here, I've got... Um, a bunch of emails from YouTube and uh, usually it would just come in a fat list and I wouldn't um, I wouldn't be able to ch see which is which but with the labels you can see I've got YouTube comment YouTube subscriber so I can sort of uh, differentiate between them it's just easy to see when you glance at it and also things from not from YouTube you can see they come up as different colors now I just all I did was create a filter and say if it comes from YouTube uh, give it the label and you can see the labels over here of YouTube now I've got that little uh, apostrophe in front of it because it seems to do it alphabetically so I've just got it so it makes it make sure that YouTube is behind comment and subscriber so um, you can see I can just change color whenever I want so that's a, that's a great feature I love that um, to do with this Google Mail thing so um, another thing about that is that if I was to go on something like blog it changes the whole inbox color here so I can see what I'm doing and it just gives me the things related to my blog which is obviously new so I haven't got much email through that so um, that's that's a great thing there so um, what I'm gonna do is basically link this to my Thunderbird account now some people have been asking how I get um, I've shown in a video um, I sent an email through my website just showing people how to contact me and it came through pretty much instantly now that's because I'm co I connected to my mailbox which was a fast mail inbox um, this is just gonna be Google Mail so it works the same way um, that's because it was connected through IMAP with pop it works a little bit differently uh, with pop basically it will download all the messages from the server and depending on what you have it might delete it from the server um, with gmail I send it to save it but it basically downloads all the messages and um, it just downloads the whole messages um, but what IMAP does is it sort of has a connection to the server so if I was to download all my messages from gmail now you'll notice that they're all red so it would download them as read and if I got a new email in Thunderbird and I read it it would mark it on the server as read um, if I deleted something in Thunderbird uh, well that might not work but if I usually if you send it to the trash or something it would send it to the trash on the server so it's just manipulating the messages on the server which is great so um, what I want to do because usually you'll find in tutorials and I've noticed it um, and also, I'll show you in the client, uh, it, they try and make you use POP, um, but POP, it just didn't work for me. It downloaded half of my messages, and I couldn't even, like, it dated back to May the 2nd. Uh, that was the most recent one I got, and it's now, what, 21st of May. So, um, with IMAP, it downloaded it all. So, what I've done is deleted my account in Thunderbird, because I've been using it, and I'm just going to show you how to set it up. Now, the first thing to do is to go to Google Mail and go to Settings. You want to go to Forwarding and POP slash IMAP and make sure that um, IMAP is enabled so you just say enable IMAP and then save changes that's about it for that and then we just need to go into our Thunderbird client now Thunderbird's great as I said I'll provide the link to this in the uh, description when you receive an email you get a nice little preview in the corner so it lets you know while you're doing your work what, what you've received an email from um, so what I'm going to do is go to tools account settings now if you just downloaded it um, you you won't need to do this because um, I'm going to click add account usually this would come up straight away when you start Thunderbird once you've downloaded it so you can see in my options I have Google Mail here we're not going to click that because that's going to try and make us use pop which is what we don't want to do so I'm going to say email account here I'm just going to say my name so Duncan Mail 
email address is my Google email address. Now, um, oh, no, that's right. That's, that's wrong, isn't it? There <laughs> Just remember my email address. Um, now, uh, you're free to email me on this address if you want to, but uh, it's just easier to go through my website uh, to contact me. So, select the type of incoming server you're using. We're going to say IMAP. It's going to be imap.gmail.com. It says your existing outgoing server, smtp.gmail.com, will be used. Because I've deleted my account, it's remembered some of my settings, but don't worry. Um, all you need to do, it should say outgoing server or something like that. Just say smtp.gmail.com. Click next. Incoming username. That's my entire email. Just click next. Account name, doesn't matter. That's just the uh, name. So I'm just going to say Gmail. Email. Next. So that's pretty much set up. So all it is is most of it is just your email address. Um, give yourself a, a name. Uh, the incoming server type is imap at imap.gmail.com. The outgoing is smtp.gmail.com. So I'm going to click finish. Now we haven't finished because if we go to run this now, it won't do anything, it will just time out. All we need to do is alter some ports. So um, we need to go to tools, account settings, and we need to go to the Gmail email server settings. You can see the default port is 143, that, that is usually what it is for IMAP. Um, we're going to change it to 993. So security settings, use secure connection, we're going to use SSL. And that's pretty much set up for us, even email. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, so we need to do the outgoing server. We're going to say edit, and then it says smtp.gmail.com, and the port is 587. Use a secure connection. Oh, there we go, it's timed out. <laughs> use a secure connection, and we're going to use TLS. Click OK, click OK, and you're done. So I'm going to basically just click there and then click there and it will open my email instead of clicking get mail which is what happens with pop so it's downloading all the headers instead of the whole messages like I said before and you can see they're all marked as red which is what they are in Google Mail which is great and uh, you can see I'm red naught total 1366 even so uh, a great extra feature is the fact that with uh, Google Mail as I was talking about was the labels now if I just right click and say subscribe you can see I've got all the labels here, and they're all ticked. We click OK. I should be able to get these uh, these back. There we go. So it's got blog, comment, eBay, and they've all come up as folders. So if I clicked on uh, blog like I had before, it will open the folder, and then there's my my blog stuff, which is the same as the blog here. So it's just a great way to link uh, Google Mail to Thunderbird. Strongly recommend using Google Mail if you want to. Uh, great for setting up with local clients. Um, things like the iPhone have already got things like built in to set up. And you can download things for your mobile phone that will check it. I know I've got a Java application on my uh, K750 which checks my email, which, oops, which is great. Um, so that's about it really. So thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.